But an, another really cool guitar that, that Don let me photograph was uh, a very special Fender. It was an, a 1983 body, I believe, and it was the last year that Fender made that that jazz master and they only had six bodies left they took four of the bodies and they made four guitars out of six body parts i guess and they they didn't have any more necks left so they used a 62 vintage reissue strat neck on it and only four of these guitars were made and one was given to Don, one to Bob Bogle and one to Noki Edwards and the fourth one not sure disappeared somewhere in the ethers and uh, speaking of Noki and the ethers I, I just have to mention how you know today I was with Seymour Duncan and Stacy Lane Wilson Don's daughter at Seymour Duncan and uh, we did this interview as well about this documentary and after it was over we found out that Noki had passed away today so I, I gotta just say blessings to Noki on his soul, soul journey. Uh, he certainly was a major contributor to the ventures and I think that he dipped in that interview today knowing that we were interviewing Seymour and he was saying there's no way you're going to interview Seymour about uh, the ventures and not have me included in there and uh, that was Noki's way of making his presence known today and uh, I mean and then Seymour was, was saying how how important and how incredible Don Wilson's rhythm guitar playing was. I mean, it was really trend-setting for that time and influenced so many people from, you know, contemporary music to pop music to metal music. Uh, and, and that's what I found along the way. I mean, everybody loves the Ventures and uh, their contributions to music will have definitely etched their way into history. And I'm, I'm really proud to have had the opportunity to work directly with Don and Noki Edwards.